I'm Nicole Feld. You're at The Greatest Show on Earth, presents Over the Top here in New York, and you are watching Barry Z. Hi, I'm Chuck Wagner, ringmaster of The Greatest Show on Earth, and you are watching The Barry Z Show. Hi, it's Barry Z from The Barry Z Show, celebrating opening night of Ringling Brothers, Bonham and Bailey Circus, with Tom Doherty. That's me. The star, one of the stars. One of the stars, just one of the stars in the, in the circus firmament. Now, I want to be the midget that comes out of the piano. <laughs> we can arrange that, Barry. We can arrange Thank that. You. And why do you want to be in this circus? Why do I want to be in the circus? Because I couldn't imagine myself living anywhere else. And either can anyone else once they see this show. The greatest show on earth is on the greatest TV show on earth, The Barry Z Show, right? That's right. We'll be right back at these messages. Bye-bye. Can you teach me how to laugh? What? <laughs> do I get the job? You got the job, my friend. Hey, it's Barry Z from the Barry Z Show, celebrating the opening night of Ringling Brothers Bottom and Bailey Circus with Nicole Feld, executive vice president and producer. That's right, that's wow. right. So that means I put together this whole show here with my dad, and this year you saw Over the Top, and it was Over the Top, wouldn't you say? Why is it called Over the Top? Because it is just that. It's totally over the top. We've, I felt we've really outdone ourselves. And it's got this great storyline about a top hat that goes between the conventional and the contemporary and represents the silly and the straightforward. You've got the hat. I got the hat. I'm over the top. And I'm in charge, right? Yep, you're in charge. When you have the hat, you're in charge of the show and silly things can happen or normal things can happen. It depends. And who are the stars this year? Well, we've got an incredible ringmaster, Chuck Wagner, who I know you're going to speak with, that uh, battles for control of the circus with our feature clown, Tom Doherty, who is so, so funny. Tell me about the acts. Okay, we've got an awesome tiger act with a great looking guy presenting. We've got these Ukrainian inner tube bouncers that actually do acrobats on what looks like monster truck style tires. I read in the paper something about some legislature that wants to be passed about prohibiting circuses like yours from harboring these animals or showing these animals in a circus atmosphere? Well, our animals have the best care. They have care around the clock. We have the m most dedicated animal care professionals that there are. But, you know, everything that we do, we're out there. Our animals are the number one reason why people come to see the greatest show on earth. They're extremely well cared for. Is this going on now? This is our 138th edition of Ringling Brothers Born and 138 years, you look great. Thank you. But, Ringling Brothers Barn and Bailey has been in the Feld family. We're celebrating our 40th anniversary. Oh, that's incredible. I'm still younger than 40. What I noticed this year is like one ring instead of three and more video and music. Well, what we really tried to do is, you know, make the bring in the audience and focus the show that they're seeing. So what we've done with the performance space is it's anything at any time. Whatever serves, whatever the act is to best provide you know, the experience for the audience. Hi, it's Barry Z from the Barry Z Show at the greatest show on earth, talking to the greatest ringmaster on earth, Chuck Wagner, right? Yeah, thank you very much. I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> what is a ringmaster? Define it for me. Ringmaster is kind of a liaison between the show and the audience. And I also have the special privilege of being at the show and in the show at the same time. So I get to kind of comment on the action, I get to sing, I get to kind of entertain, but I also have the best seat in the house. How does this role differ from what you do on a Broadway stage? We also know you from Beauty and the Beast, right? right. Yeah, the storyline maybe is a little simpler, but the basic tenet of telling the story and entertaining the people is ultimately the same. But say a fantastic show on New York is maybe 2,000 to 2,500 people. Here tonight we had almost 15, 16,000 people in one sitting, so in one day, I, like we'll have three shows on the weekend, I can be seen by as many people in a day as in a week on Broadway. So it's a little higher scale. The kids are younger, but it's, uh, it's very, very exhilarating. What other Broadway shows do we know you from? I was uh, Javert and Les Mis for a couple of years. I was in the original Into the Woods, played the Rapunzel Prince, and I also played the Wolf and the, and the Cinderella Prince in the national tour. I was uh, the original Jekyll and Hyde and then toured in that. I've been in Kiss Me Kate, I've been in uh, uh, the standby to Dracula and Van Helsing in the recent Dracula the musical. I, 
I've been around a long time. Yeah. You're on stage practically for two hours or two and a half hours, aren't you? Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, it's fun. And also, we have this amazing clown, Tom Doherty, who uh, he and I make a good... Uh, good rivals, I think. We make we play well off each other, and he's he's got a 30-year uh, uh, track record too. So we we both go back way well, a long time in our craft. This year it's called Over the Top. It's like Nicole said, it really is taking everything over the top. Hi, it's Barry Z from the Barry Z Show, celebrating opening night of Ringling Brothers, Bonham and Bailey Circus with Tom Doherty. Yeah, hi Barry Z. Wow. Are you from Brooklyn too? I'm from Brooklyn. You are. Where are you from? Sheep said Bay. Where are you? From? I'm from Park Slope. I used to live on Park Slope. Yeah, my family's been there since 1830s. I said I used to live on Park Slope. I meant I lived in Park Slope. Are you sure about that? <laughs> now, other than Chuck Wagner, who's the ringmaster of the circus, yeah. you're the star. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. How did that happen? I don't know. I woke up one morning and they said, go do this. <laughs> I don't know. They asked me. I was with the gold unit, which is Ringling's One Ring show for the last four years. And I did very well over there. And so they asked me if I'd like to come back. Now remember, I started with the Blue Show back in 1978. The Blue Show? What's that? This is what this is, the Blue Show. Ring they have different colors? Yeah! Tell me about that. Okay, they're, when, uh, when they put together the Big Show, it runs for two years. So, therefore, New York gets a new show every year because there's the Red Show and the Blue Show. So they alternate every other year. So we, we go out, we run for two years, next year you'll have the Red, after that the Blue will be back. Now you didn't start out at Clown College, which no longer exists, right? I Clown did. College? Oh, yeah. you did? Oh, yeah, I graduated Clown College 78. In Florida, right? Florida, Venice, Florida, the old winter quarters. So why is it gone now? What happened? I don't know. Tell me about your role in this circus, this version. I feel like I'm the, the child, and uh, the ringmaster there is the parent. My job is to kind of push his envelope a little bit. and yeah, I, You take his hat. I do, because, well, when you have the hat, you can, you can make magic happen. And he's always so serious bringing in all these thrill acts, and I bring in all the whimsical fun acts. Yeah, tell me about the acts you bring in. I bring in all the clowns, of course, the comedy trapeze act, the um, inner tube act, one of my favorite acts in the whole show. Uh, so th those kind of acts are the ones that I usher in, as well as my own acts, like the bubble act or the microphone act. Those are both mine. The microphone thing is classic. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to do that. It's a lot of fun to do that. I can't thank you enough for joining us. You are phenomenal. Pleasure. Thank you so much, Barry. So are you, buddy. I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs>